Right, just a very quick intro here. We've played in the 96 Lee Chess Mega Team Battle. Five minute blitz this one. Uh, played for Team King's Crusher as per usual. We finished in third place out of 195. Comfortably third, a little bit behind the top two. I just missed out on being one of the top scores for the team. 21st, the top 20 make up the scores, but I'm not a naturally fast player. I play slow positional chess, so in these slow time controls, I'm not too well suited to that. But individually, I was still 450th out of 2179 players. And that's the performance for myself. The cameras might actually be slightly in the way here now. Um, so I performed at 2155. Average opponent is 1989. 15 games. 10 wins and 5 losses. And these are the games in the order that they've been played. How many teams have we got? 195. So 2160. Good luck. We've not played before, no head to head score. 10,000 games for opponent, that's very good. I think I'm just approaching 7,000 in blitz, I think. Um, what do I want to do here? I'm going to develop the bishop. Knight up if you check. Takes. Take back. So again, still knight up if you check. Comes forward. I'm just going to castle there. I might end up coming back here, let's just see. Mm, let's hit the bishop. Goes back. I'll just guard the pawn. Probably drop back. Um, bishop up, knight down's a move. Yeah, let's just drop the bishop back. I mean, I could have gone forward, I suppose, but it's done now. I'm going to play up there. Knight down, I'll probably just develop. And then see which way he wants to go. So it is five minutes this though, and it not three minutes, so I'm gonna use that little bit of time. Hmm. A sack isn't on, is it? Bishop up might be a move, but I don't quite see what I achieve. Wondering whether to push up here, but there is a pawn. Takes, takes, you can whip the bishop. Hmm. I'm just gonna move the knight so I've got the option for bishop up. This knight could still drop back. But you can see I'm not a naturally quick player, so it's unlikely if I do play the whole event that I'd be a top scorer for the team in any event, but you never know. Well, let's play a bishop up and challenge that bishop. You see I've done a pre-move there, it's a different colour on the squares. Yeah, rook goes across, so allows me to take. So probably stick to principles, trading over does. Rook across, I guess you can still push in any event, but seems like a good principled move, so why not? We can still drop the knight back if we need to. I don't think there's any sort of sacrifice on, like, two pawns for a knight it would work out, but I don't think that's realistic as it he comes in. Okay, I've missed something here. What have I missed? Oh, it just goes to hit the knight. So is it the same thing here? No, I don't think I can sack there. Knight up and maybe round could be useful if we can. Or maybe knight back and round if he blocks it. Ah, oh, maybe he wants to fly down the board. Kind of pushing me to where I half want to go. Let's go forward and see if he kicks us to hit the bishop and cover the e4 square. But yeah, pawn down is a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, he goes back. I'm just going to drop the knight back there and try and challenge for e4. Okay, he flies forward. I'm going to push up there, so if he comes down, I've got the option to push. Rook behind could end up walking into problems further down the line, but it feels like a move. So I've got to try and use my time here, going a little bit quick maybe. Mm. Okay, let's play rook across just because of the direct attack. Bishop down, I'll obviously have to step up. 
it's very easy to overlook moves like that. Yeah, it goes across logical. So knight up or knight up. Hmm. Is it a move just to push now? I don't think it is. Hmm. I'm going to play knight four. Just prepare to get forward. I mean, he's easily got knight down, of course, to block, but. Oh, he's taken. Now, that I didn't expect. Okay, I'll take. So, it comes forward. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying now, isn't it? Um, let's just prepare a potential sacrifice just in case it might be worth something. You might get three pawns. I mean, right now you can block with a queen, but three pawns for the knight and it becomes half tempting. Probably not good, but half tempting. Just realize I might have blundered this pawn push though. If I go up knight in the move. So I'm looking at this still. Take, take, take. Queen across, don't have a lot, do I? Hmm. I'm going to push up there, but yeah. There is the potential for him to try and crash through. Okay, let's just come up and pressure the pawn. Can I do this? Close the file down. Knight down's a nuisance now. That's a problem, but... Knight down, knight down. There's no queen up. I think it's still a move for. Knight down, maybe just drop back with a view to knight going forward. Difficult to create anything, isn't it? Difficult. If I push the pawn, it's a very easy target. Knight up here. It feels like a nice square, but it's getting away from the king. E4 is then a bit easier to play. Not easy. But I don't think I should take there and allow the queen in. I think my position would collapse if I did that. That's what it feels like. But how do I get my rooks forward? Yeah, rook's gonna cross. Okay. I don't want to burn my clock, so I'm just gonna create a simple threat. But how do I get the rooks actually active and forward now? Okay, queen up logical. I could risk queen across. Trade, trade, open the file, but... Hmm. Feels alright, actually, that. It feels okay. It doesn't mean it is, but it feels like it is. I can push the pawn or guard or both. The knight could get a little bit jumpy now. Could do, but... That might be the key, mightn't it? So rook up, rook across are both logical. So let's play up just to cover this knight jump. Activate the other rook. Knight goes back. Let's just come across then. He's tempting me to go forward, isn't he? Yeah, he's hitting my knight now, logical. Let's hit the pawn then. I think he can take. If I take back... Wait, do I take here first? No, he'll just drop back. And I'm going to come this side now. But now, of course, maybe I should push the pawn to fix this. That's got to be sensible. And now here. Okay, he's letting me kind of push up. Oh, he's pushing to trade. I think it's good if he takes or pushes. Okay, now maybe not so. Let's take, let's come back across, um, hmm. is this a move? I don't think right now, I'm going to try and get a rook off, ooh, I missed that I must admit, can I push here, lose a rook, gain a rook, he's alright, check, down don't like i'm gonna push the pawn oh that's a rook he just blundered his rook
He's just had one of them one move blunders, hasn't he? So we're just a bit lucky with that one. That was a tough game. Well done. So 2091, good luck. So we've not played before either, no head to head score. Five and a half thousand games for opponent. Let's go C4. We're probably going to do the same thing. Stick to the ready principle. Put the bishop on G2. I mean, at some point we both need to slow down and actually use our time, of course. Launch is in the centre, so we could go for that stonewall formation. Opponent can obviously do the same. Hmm. I'm just going to go B3 for now. If he pushes, I'll just drop back. I think that's supposed to be okay for white with d3 coming at some point. It's very common in the ready to get the bishops on both diagonals, although it's very, very, very easy to go wrong. Extremely easy to go wrong. Right, I'm going to play d3 now. So the knight's no longer guarded by a pawn. We're trying to just challenge this pawn push, which might well come. Actually, I could play a knight back, couldn't I? Let's do that. Just so we can challenge this structure. Okay, I'm going to go and do that. I could even take the pawn here, couldn't I? And try and deal with this. Yeah, that looks interesting. Why not do that? Take the pawn and see if we can pressure this d6 pawn. Because we've got a lot of pieces covering now. Um, so up, knight down here. And the check is covered. It's dangerous though. So. Up here you've got this, haven't you? Let's do that anyway, because then I can kick this in one move. I just gotta be aware that there's a potential for a check there. Obviously, I know the bishop covers right now, but always potential to deal with that. Hmm. I'm gonna push the pawn. If the bishop eventually comes down, I'll just play f3, I think, but Maybe I'll do f4 and try and play bishop f3 and just blast forward. f4 is very tempting, takes and takes, and we still got a nice structure. Hmm. Yeah, he's developing the queen side, so I think that makes sense to go on the king side to me. I'm going to take a risk. It's a little bit bold. I wouldn't normally play that style, so it could go wrong. Of course it could. Actually, I might have gone wrong already, mightn't I? Takes, if I take this way, I'm giving the knight a really good square. I mean, suddenly no longer a pawn to deal with it, so I'll have to go with a G pawn, I think. Yeah, I'll have to go with a G pawn to keep this covered. Now if he launches one, a mm, little bit risky for both of us. I guess knight across and trying to move the defending bishop could be nice. And then just bring the knight back. Or maybe knight back over because the queen guards. Knight back and then we've got an option to go to d4 or to c3. Yeah, he has launched it. I wonder if he'd do that. I've got to take, don't I? I've got to take and try and deal with that bishop. And then maybe knight to g3 is actually a natural fit as well. Just to gently pressure the pawn. Um, Wait, if I trade here... I think he hangs a pawn, but he might want to do that to open the diagonal up. But I've got to try. Actually, no, he doesn't. I have to move the knight first. He's covered it. I'm going to take anyway, knight across. Then I cover the knight coming down. So I've got the option to take. Otherwise, we're hitting the pawn here. He can obviously guard, but if he guards now, this pawn is loose. So he has come forward and allowed the capture here. And then bishop back should be good, right? Or knight and just takes. I'm going to risk it. It's a gamble, this, because he's got knight back and I might have to give up my bishop. Okay, he doesn't do that. So I'll pin the bishop. If knight in now, I'll just take the bishop. Obviously, this knight is pinned. So I'll take. Hit the knight, hit the pawn. I mean, rook across, maybe I just shuffle here, so if down I can take. Then activate the rook. Yeah, king across feels like a nice square now because of this open g-file. 
feels like it anywhere. Let's just see. Yeah, queen across, logical. But doesn't that allow knight takes anywhere, threatening a check? Here, if he checks, I simply sidestep and I'm creating the same threat. So here, maybe he's got knight across and I just trade or something. But no, knight across, I've still got the check. I guard the knight, I threaten a check. If he checks, I step over. So now we create that pin threat as well as a check this way. Okay, so I've got the check and I can take. That just wins an exchange worst case. So let's go for it. I mean, I can even take the rook rather than taking the queen. So do we do that? Gain a queen, lose a queen. Gain a rook, lose a knight. Double up, a pawn's going to fall. Oh, actually, no, I've got check, haven't I? Yeah, it just wins, I think. Gain a queen, lose a queen. Gain a rook, lose a knight, and check. And then we're just a clean rook up. Which we should be if he doesn't take. Yeah, so we get a little bit of luck there, but a pretty decent game. Very good. So 1437, good luck. Oh, it's a new account, or newish account, yeah. It is one month, I think that's about what they should do. You should need to have an account for at least a month to play in any event. Just my personal opinion, it's not the policy, just my personal opinion. Ooh. See, making moves instantly like that, that's a sign that something might not be quite right. Just a potential indicator. I know he's offering a draw. What's he doing? Okay, let's just come back. Why on earth is he moving so silly fast? Maybe we just simply trade here up a pawn. Um, takes, takes, check, back. There's no second piece in. So I think we develop. Okay, queen down, but that gives me knight across to hit the queen, bishop, and guard all in one go. So if he takes, we can take back. Okay, he goes across, that's just the queen. He's playing it silly fast. No need to do that at all. Let's develop the rook. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm a bit croaky still. I feel fine, just a little bit croaky. Um... Knight ups a move, bishop ups a move and allow take. I think that feels all right. Hmm. Get the piece off the board and it mixes it up a little bit. I mean, I can always drop the bishop. I can use the bishop as a giant pawn. But why on earth is he playing so silly fast? Let's just activate the queen. And there's another piece. Hmm. He's not trying this game. He is not trying here, I don't think. Yeah, he's just set up a checkmate there. He's done that deliberately there. Uh, 2084, good luck. So we've not played before either. Wow, 40,000 games for Bond. That's rather impressive, isn't it? 40,000 games. Is he going to play one of these gambit lines? Uh, no, he comes forward. Um, I mean, I could play e4, but... Actually, I'm going to stick to a Retty principle, even though it's not really a Retty opening now. Probably Queen across and come down at some point. Um, I'm just looking at going forward here. Takes, Knight up, takes, takes. Um, I'm going to potentially sack a pawn just to open things up. Okay, let's just take... Knight up, maybe bishop up somewhere or other. Queen up some, somewhere maybe as well. Let's just develop the queen just to be a nuisance and hit the pawn. It's not really threatening anything as such, but I'll develop the bishop now and try and get the rooks into play. Wait, has he just allowed a capture here? This is loose as well. Takes, bishop, take. 
six. No, I think it's too risky. I think it's too risky. I'm going to commit to trade the bishop, though. Yeah, so he's gone back. So let's just play across. Let's play pawn up to cover the b4 square. Okay. Down, I'm just asking for trouble, aren't I? So let's trade. Um, let's bring the knight back to come around and drop the queen back, maybe. Okay, knight goes back. Let's come across and then hit the knight and see where it's going to end up. Knight in, maybe knight back might be a move. I've given him c5 potentially because I'm in this line of fire, but right now, man, I guess he could do it anyway, he doesn't. Knight down, c5, takes, takes. I think I can just take back. So just play a knight back and don't burn all our time. Might play c5 here. I played b5, wow. That I didn't expect. I'm going to hit the bishop. There is a slight risk to my queen here. Yeah, now he's played the c5. Let's get rid of the bishop first and then the knight and see how he wants to build this pawn structure. Okay. I think dropping back is basically my only move, isn't it? Pretty much the only move I've got. I've definitely blundered here, though. I mean, I've got rook across, but... Mm, not convinced. I'm actually going to play rook up because it's on a light square. But I can't really defend anything, can I? No, this, this game has gone. This one is effectively over. I mean, the position is just collapsing. Although there is a pawn here, but this one has collapsed, I think. Well, it is what it is. That's just chess. Okay, let's come across. Goes back. Actually, has he given me a chance to play b4 there? Because he doesn't have take. But he's got connected past pawns now, so it might be a disaster, that move, anyway. Mm. Don't see anything else, though. My only chance is really to get the queen here and then the bishop on the same diagonal, but I haven't got a clue how I do that. It's my only real chance, isn't it, though? Okay. Let's bring the bishop up and hit the pawn. Queen back across. Let's play a queen up then and try and bring a rook over. But yeah, I think I'm just kind of wasting time here. It is a team battle. I should probably move on to the next game here. I will do soon, I think. I mean, I've, I've given him this monster advantage, haven't I? Um, I'm actually going to play rook up here and try and come across. He's come over. So let's hit the queen. Um, I've got to try and avoid a trade, don't I? I'm not sure it's possible. Mm, I'm really not sure it's possible. I can't go forward where I wanted to go. Not pleasant, not pleasant. Let's just come all the way back. I mean, across I'll have to retreat at best. And then he can just play moves like rook across and it's over, isn't it? I mean, I don't think I'm in a position to try and go pawn and grab in. If I defend, you just march down the board. If you march now, I might have to give up an exchange. Um, mm, very unpleasant. Let's come across and hit the pawn again. Oh, actually, am I blundering something like queen down as well at some point? I'm surprised he didn't just double the rooks across immediately, but... Hey, guards. Okay. 
Okay, let's hit the queen then and try and come behind. Right, so bishop up is actually a move here, isn't it? Takes, takes, or is it? No, it isn't. Seeing things, it's not a move. You just take, now it's a move. Okay, bishop down. So I've got bishop up, but I don't see what else I've got. Soon as I retreat, pawn pushing, that's curtains, isn't it? Bishop up. But queen takes, rook takes is my idea. Pawn takes, rook takes. Let's play it just because I don't see anything to do. Here I've got check. Here I've got the same check. Down to a minute though. Okay. I'm going to hit the bishop, but I'm actually trying to come here. So he guards it. I'm going to try and guard my rook. Wait. Queen up hit the pawn. That's dangerous what he's done here because I'm threatening to take with the rook or the queen. Okay. I'm just too slow. We're too slow, sadly. That's what I want. Oh, I've got it. Oops, that's a real nice move. Yeah, just run. Nothing there, he's done tremendously well. Oh, that was a lag there. Yeah, this one's over, but that was a lag there, given the check there. That was a lag. Yeah, 2004, good luck. 1600 games for opponent we've not played before. Let's play a Carol for this one. Why moved quick like that in a five minute game? It's actually not as bad as it looks. It's just a pawn in reality, as long as you find the lines. Not as bad for white as it first looks, but why play really quick like that in a five minute game? You know, I think bishop up is a move, but rook across is probably fine here. Knight in back, I think is fine. It gets my bishop developed. And then we'll try and play knight up. Just trade something up if we can, which we can. Bishop back. Mm. I'm going to go queen side as well because my opponent has pawn up and bishop up once I've shifted the knight somewhere. Okay, so knight over takes, takes, looks all right. But knight in might be a move. And then this is a problem. Hmm. I'm just going to play a rook up first. Just to make sure my rooks are on different squares in case I blunder the knight in and this pawn. I'd like to play a knight across, but it kind of invites a bit of a problem. And I've still got the job of getting developed. I could play f6, but then I've got a weak pawn here, so it's not, not a formality here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to push this pawn. Knight in, I'll trade. Bishop in, I might ignore it. Maybe knight across, I'm not sure. Yeah, bishop in takes knight in. That's a little bit more awkward. A little bit more awkward. Hmm. If one pawn falls, the other one's going to fall. 
I mean, this initial mistake in this opening is not quite as bad as it looks. Okay, you can take my bishop here. So here takes up, takes, but then I've got a cross and I'm going to come in. So the way he's played it, I think it's actually okay. Because I've, that's why I put my rook on another square. So now I can try and get to the second rank. A knight back, I think, I'm fine just to take. Maybe I can ignore it and just go straight for the second rank. Let's just see. I've got a little bit of time. What? Has he just blundered his knight? Well, what the heck's he done? Wow. Um, I think I just take and take, don't I? So it's just a straight knight for a pawn now. We just got to watch out these pawns and try and keep his king cut. So try and fix these. March up the board. And then eventually unwind my knight if I can and jump round. Not that necessarily a formality. As soon as you go up, you can check. Oh, well, now that allows me to go up with tempo on the rook and free up my knight. So eventually I should be able to run. And then just pop the knight forward. Okay, so knight up takes back. That's got to be winning on the spot, I would think. Well, got to be winning anyway. Because we lose a pawn, but we're going to gain a pawn. And he can go here. Well, we can take with a check, I guess, and then maybe drop back. Um, I think just rook back. As long as we can come out and stop his pawn. Oh, that's a pawn. check again but um can i drive him away let's guard the pawn with the king okay what i want is to run here if he goes here i'm getting a check so let's come across and try and run I think we just step back here. He can't go on any of these, can he? Then we're just threatening to push up. That's a very good game. Very, very good. Excellent. Oh. Uh, 1956. Good luck. Just on a thousand games for my opponent. Um, not sure what structure I want to aim for here. Just try and mix them up ever so slightly. We played this one earlier, didn't we? Um, okay, go. A slightly different move order here. Cautious, does it? Mm. So up, knight in, back. I'm going to have a problem jumping around. Up, knight in, back. It gets my bishop up, though. Do I want to do it? I do. I'm just going to drop back so I can bring the knight up. Oh, he's letting me take, so that tells me he wants queen side. Okay. Or oh, he's likely to anyway. I'm just going to push the pawn then. I think we're going to see everything fly down the board here. So let's drop back. Maybe this knight back instead of this one. I mean, I could maybe... Oh, he's gone kingside now. I did not expect that at all. He might have changed his plan. So I suspect he wants to play four. Let's drop this knight back still, so one of the pieces is going to come off. Guess I'll pre-move in case he takes the bishop, because he attacks the queen. Yeah, he comes forward as expected. So we could try and go do the same sort of concept back. Um... I was wondering whether I can actually be silly and push this side. I think I can go here, can I? Just run the risk of simply getting trapped, but 
a5 down knight takes he could even just simply blast the yeah i don't like this position i'm gonna have to take the hmm, this is something i need to learn from i think he'll go this way and try and just push on that's what he's done um so i'm gonna drop the bishop back so one move push now we hit the pawn yeah, this is rather dangerous, isn't it? I'm going to gamble and try and kick that knight. I don't want the knight jumping in here. Oh, mind you, have I got queen up first? Queen up before a pawn push might be an idea here. Let's bring the queen up just so we're threatening to push and trade the queens. It's still a very dangerous position, but if the queen comes off, it's a little bit less risky on the attack but he's playing really quickly as well so he's doing very well here very strong oh what's he spotted here he spotted a tactic here or something i'm gonna kind of just go up here i'm just trying to trade the queen that's what i'm trying to do oh he's on his bishop Now, if I can just get bishop in, that would be good. So he's kind of going all in now. So here, knight moves queen across, down. I think that's playable. He might actually ignore this and just push. Okay, so he has gone across. So let's come up and hit the knight. Wait, what? I've just missed that. I didn't even see that he had that. I've just blundered everything. I mean, I've got queen back, but it doesn't feel good. I'm going to have to play it, though. I hope he takes the rook here and gets his knight off, but I still can't stop this, can I? F6 up. Rook across, pawn down. Oh, he takes. He just gone pawn grabbing. I think that's a mistake. Um, hmm. I'm going to come across just threatening a move like knight over. I think he was better just simply pushing, which he might still be able to do. Queen down might be a move, but then he's getting across. But he needs to guard his pawn, right? Let's drop back. He's been so fast. Check. Actually, no, if he pushes for a check, I just take. So I'm actually wondering whether to just take here, but I think I've got queen up. Pawn down, I just take, right? I think queen up and hit the pawn. Down, I think I still just take the pawn. Maybe you can just ignore it. Maybe you can. So down, I'm going to have to push. And that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? That's a little bit of a technical problem. I might have to go up two if he comes down. Oh, that allows me to take... Okay, well now I've got knight across or pawn up. Knight across is instinctive to stop the pawn, push and blockade. I think that's the move and then rook up. I've got to be quicker here though. I'm threatening this pawn as well, right? So just take. Do I need rook up first? Rook down, I still take, right? Actually, yeah, that looks better to me. Get a piece in. And if, if he avoids a trade, I'm threatening to get forward, I think. Okay, so I've got knight up here. I think I just triple stack and threaten to go for the back rank. Um, knight across, I don't like. I think it's just simply back rank here, false pieces off the board, because we've got the knight. I think he's had very good chances this game. I think we've been a bit fortunate. I'll get the queen off as well because we've got the knight. Still got to be quick enough though. I'm still a minute down on the clock. Um, so take. Go after the pawns. Hmm. I think I'll just come across and go after this one. He can't push the G pawn. 
I've got to watch the clock here. Um, yeah, let's get the rook well out of the way there, no chances. Um, I'm going to give him a chance to blunder because there is a check. Yeah, he just missed it playing quickly. He's got all that time on the clock. Okay, we get a good win there, very good. Right, 21-32, good luck. So we've not played before either, no head head score. Oh, bonus 2400 in bullet, 8000 games. Um, let's just go B3. I'll stick to... Oh, that does actually give me a chance to take there. I'm going to do that. Let's stick to the Reti principle, though. Hmm. I'm just going to go for a normal centre here. Bishop will come down at some point. Let's play a knight up and maybe push. I get the feeling my opponent's going to be crazy quick here. I'm not going to worry the least little bit about that. No point in being silly and playing too fast. A bishop in is a bit of a problem sometimes. I think I've got a square. I'm trying to cut this out. I'm trying to do this sort of idea. Maybe it's going a bit wrong though. Knight in, knight down, the other knight down. No, I'm going to try it. I'm still going to aim for it with the other knight back. <coughs> okay, he's gone back. So does that give me a chance to take? It does not. Take, take, knight up, on down. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to take because I don't see anything better. I was wondering if I can come around the angles and blockade. Oh, he's gone with a rook again. I did not expect that. Let's play rook across and he's created a dangerous threat there, which I just didn't expect. I thought the pawn would come across. But I'm going to try and do this then. I'll come around the angles at some somehow. I could even take the knight if he takes here, but I don't think he will. He's got a good position. There might be a chance to sack though. Takes, takes. Doesn't work in this position. Hmm. Let's drop the knight back then. What on earth am I going to do with this knight? He's got rook across. I can't really do a great deal about it, can I? So I'm going to step over and rook across, I think. Just trying to watch out for this idea as well. Try and challenge this open file if possible. But now there is a hit to the pawn if he just forgets about it and lets us take his rook. And that's what he's done. Take, take, take. He's going to get here though. Let's take here first. Here or here, does it matter? I think I actually do this first and then go here. Okay, it comes down, attacks the knight. No, I might have queen up here. Check. I just simply step up, I think. So I'm going to do that. We hit the f7 pawn if he doesn't trade. Check, I step up and stop the bishop. Check. Sorry, the bishop I'm pinning the king in. So we cover this, we cover this. We don't actually, well, we kind of cover this, but we create a threat in the process. Um, I've got knight over bishop back. I think I'll actually just drop the bishop back and try and push my pawn. I'm going to try and push the pawn while he's busy attacking and blocking his queen off. But I could do with getting behind if possible. Oh, mind you, if my queen wanders off, this pawn's going to collapse, isn't it? Got to push there. 
What do I do here? Do I jump forward with the knight? But it releases his queen. Yeah, but that threat's covered. Wait, I can just take, right? I just take and come back. Okay, he grabs a pawn. I'd seen that. The knight over check. I don't like. Wait, can I take here? Check. I think I can push on here. Okay. So where's the finish? Oh, I've hung the queen. Just didn't see it. Well done. Well, let's fit in another game in the mega team battle. We have 1869 players in this now. 2127. Good luck. Not played before, no head to head score. Nine, nearly 10,000 games for opponent. Really good. Um, against this, you normally do this, and this, you normally do this, just as a rough guide. Try to make sure you can still take back. No need to play silly fast, it is five minutes, although it is a team battle though. Um, I'm going to go d4 and e3 for this one. Transpose it more to a regular d4 game. I'll take. Got to watch out for these annoying bishop moves, which he's done. I guess we can always drop back. So he's got bishop down here as well, that's a bit irritating. I could maybe meet that straight away. Trade, trade, queen down. Bit awkward for my knight. Bit awkward, isn't it? But I don't think my bishop's going to do anything better, so I'll do it. Now, where do I go? Here. I'm not going anywhere, so let's just come back. Have one knight guard, another maybe. Okay. I'll drop this knight back just so we double it the knight. Knight and I'll just take. Okay, rook across. So is knight up a move here? Takes, takes, I just lose a piece, so no it isn't. Um, so I can come back and hit the rook again, but I like the idea of just keeping it simple and see if we provoke a pawn push, maybe queen up. Queen across. Okay, queen up, hits the rook and guards the pawn. Knight up might become a move, but not rook across and blunder a piece. So I'm going to push on the king's side because he stacked everything on the queen's side. Okay, knight in. I'm going to go up. I'll just take if he jumps in. It's very dangerous to do, though, to give up your defending bishop in this type of position. Now, that might allow rook across now. We can now challenge for the open file. Again, knight in, I'm still going to risk taking, I think. I think. I'm going to play rook up and just get behind here. Okay, let's come back and take. Hmm, I'm looking at whether knight in is an actual move. It's difficult, isn't it? Knight across, we walk into potential trouble. It say he moves his king and I've got nothing of it. Let's just trade. Gotta get my king active. See, why is he thinking there? That looks suspicious there. He's only got one move, so why would you be thinking? Let's run across. It looks a bit suspicious when you see odd things like that. Well, you've only got one real move that you can possibly make. Hmm, that looks odd. Okay, all these pawns are on dark square, so that's good. Let's get the bishop back. Um, let's put this on a dark square. Okay, let's isolate the pawn. Um... I'm going to play f4 here. I don't know if it's good or bad. 
not going to take. Um, let's come up and encourage a pawn push because it will fix them on light squares if he does it. If he doesn't. Let's take a risk and go the other side of the pawns. There's not really too much I can do here. Well, do I come across? I'm going to gamble here because if he takes, I'm taking back. Hmm, no way in. Take, takes, no good. All I can do is shuffle and hope I don't trap my bishop. I might be better off coming back actually. Bishop might get trapped. I'm a minute down on the clock. Okay, it does take now. I'm going to have to come back if I can. If I can. Yeah, my king can't break through here. I don't know how to do this. Just play a holding move. Bishop down, trade, trade there. He'll take. I've definitely lost this one now. I've blundered this one. I'm going to try and come here. He just has to come in, doesn't he? Oh, he didn't do that. Hmm, I can't actually get back. That's annoying. I have to be able to sack. I saw a little blip there. Did something happen? There was some sort of little blip, wasn't it? But King down just wins on the spot. Yeah, this one feels a little bit odd. There's nothing I can do here. I'm trying to just sack Bishop of a Pawn, but I don't think it's possible unless he blunders it. Well, he has one. He's let me take. So if I come down here, he can run his bishop all day long, can't he? So up takes, up, down, up. I think I have to push here. And that's the move that wins the game. Yeah, I think there's something odd with that game. I think there's something wrong with that one. Okay, 1951, good luck. Wow, 20,000 games for opponent, very good. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's just go d6. Let's see if he plays f3, he might do, might block. Yeah, he has done. Let's drop back an e6, g6 sort of idea. Hmm. I might go e6 and even c5, let's just see. Switching to an e4 game, really, here. So let's push. Okay, that lets us develop with a temple attacking the bishop. I don't think he'll trade, but he could. Goes back. So up encourages pawn forward. What about this one instead? Yeah, I like the idea of going d5 instead. He takes, so I'm going to take. So I've got to watch out for the Greek gift idea. I don't think it works right now, but it could. Actually, no, I shouldn't pre-move. It's a five-minute game, isn't it? He pushes forward. So knight across, takes, takes, queen takes. Pawn up, maybe. Hmm. No, I think I'd better take. I'm going to develop the bishop, just hit the pawn, and try and get my queen out of the way somewhere or other. A queen across bishop up, maybe. So he's played queen up. That might allow rook across then. Let's put the rook on the same file, threatening a move like knight across. But he can create similar threats against my bishop. Could get a bit spicy this one. Okay, well that might give me a tempo developing here, and he's got to watch out for his knight. This could be a bit of a problem, couldn't it? But it might actually give me a chance to play a bishop up. 
depends what he does and where he puts pieces. I know there's a pawn loose, but I'm trying to get developed. Mustn't go here because of his bishop. But if we can deflect the bishop, the knight's a bit loose. So knight across. Well, that just allows bishop up. Trade, trade, though. He's fine, but I've got knight across. Hmm, I don't actually attack his knight, though, do I? I want to play knight over to hit the bishop and guard this. I've got bishop up, of course, and we can trade the queen. So he's gone back. Hmm. No, I'm just going to trade. Maybe try and double up, depends what he does. Let's double up. Knight up wide could be a bit of a nuisance, but maybe I've got knight up then. So rook over, knight up still a move, takes, takes. That feels like a nice move to me, so I'm going to play it. Oh, he's gone pawn grabbing. I don't know why I didn't think that worked, but I didn't. Rook across might be a move, but do I go more direct? Rook across, he's got rook over. Hmm. I'm just going to give my king a bailout square first, just accept I've lost a pawn. Wait, what the heck? What's he done there? Is that for real? It's just a free pawn. That's his big asset, isn't it? That's his big asset. Pawn on a light square if I can. Rook behind is a target. So that gives me a chance to hit this now, and he can't come here. He could play rook over trade takes, rook check king up, and that seems fine. So I'm going to go there and go after that pawn. Rook over, I think I just trade and grab the pawn, but he does get bishop up, he defends. So I'm going to play bishop back and hit the pawn. Okay, guards. We kind of try and trap his bishop here. So up, down, across, down is not in time. So up. I want to try and trap his bishop here with a move like rook across. Also creates a potential to check and blockade. So he takes here. It gives him a chance to blunder, doesn't it? Bishop takes, rook takes here. It gives him an outside chance to blunder. He should see it, but he might not do possible to blunder and he has blundered just check and take I think he'd seen it but he thought I had to take back so just take yeah pawn down so get behind he's got the annoying rook up that's a bit irritating so here he gets behind that's also irritating I've got to bring my king across here. He's got down. So I'm going to try and fix this side. And then, oh, he's pushed. Okay, bring my king over. He needs a lot of moves for his king to come across. Let's just take the... I mean, I could go for a direct check bait, of course, but... King across should be good here. Down, I could even step forward and go after the king. Check. There must be a mate somewhere, but back has got to be safer, hasn't it? Because then he can't push, he loses the rook. Hit the pawn. Rook across threatens mate as well. He just resigns. So we get a good win. Very good. Now let's play another game in the mega team battle. Being a slow time control, I'm just not quick enough in these games. 1854, good luck. Wow, 20,000 games for opponent, that's really good. Um, let's go C4. Okay, and stick to that Reti principle, bishop on G2. Hmm. I've been playing B3, haven't I? Let's go this way. I mean, I can still do b3, but let's see what he does. We'll challenge for the center. 
I'm just going to attack her. Okay. I'm going to play a queen up instead of trading. Activate the rook. And eventually try and get my pieces into play. I'm not sure if I can. He plays queen down. So knight up is covered. Knight back might be a move. And how does he guard his pawn then? Knight back is a very odd move. But all my pieces guard each other. And how does he guard his pawn? He can't go to any of them, can he? So it just looks like a decent move to me to undermine the pawn's defence. And let's hope it actually is a decent move. Or maybe I could have taken there, but it's dangerous giving up your light squared bishop. Um, let's come back knight and I'll just trade. Or maybe knight back here and then eventually rook across. Mm. Let's play knight up. Knight down now, I think I've got rook d1. Maybe I can push here and give my pawn back and break his pawn structure up. Struck back for now, but maybe we can push and he'll have to take with the pawn. He's playing it rather fast, isn't he? Actually, has he just blundered a pawn in the process? I think he has. Let's take... You're going to get that balance between quality and speed of play. Oh, that's a... That's probably a mouse slip, isn't it, to be fair? If it happens, it's online chess. Get lucky with that one. Yeah, 2691. Look, that's a bit of a different level, isn't it? Hmm. I was a bit sceptical when I see that figure. And 2850 in bullet without a title. Hmm. It is an old account, to be fair. Why don't we just stick to principles here? Point has an excellent connection there. One is definitely connected, otherwise it would have brought a message up saying your opponent has left the game. You still have to wait forever to claim a victory, but... Obviously, they had no problem making the first move. It got a good connection. Okay, now connected. I'm going to play the same way. Hmm... What do I want to do? Let's play a knight up. I'm going to push in the centre here. Okay, it comes forward. I'm going to just pin the knight. Let's play a queen up, rook across. Maybe threatening to capture at some point. Okay, goes over. We need to take now, I think. I'm going to play a pawn up just to stop this annoying knight jump. What am I going to do with this bishop? I like the idea of bishop h6, but of course doesn't have to trade. Take here, back. The queen's definitely not trapped. I'm just going to go to h6 and see if trades. Rook across, I'll drop the queen back. Okay, it does go back. I'm going to go h4, maybe h5. So I'll drop back there. Maybe just bring the bishop back. Yeah, opponent's done that as well. So we'll come back, hit the knight. Okay, let's go with the rook. Goes back over. I'm just going to play queen up. I don't see anything better. OK. 
here comes down. Let's come back and hit the two knights. I might trade the bishop for one of them if I can, and I can. I've got a knight up as well, haven't I? Rook's a bit of a problem. Take queen takes queen down. Oh, he's got rook across. I think I should just play a queen straight down. Might prove to be a mistake. He's got rook across and I can't stop the trade. Can't really take here. So I'm going to mix the structure up and take. Let's push the pawn. I can't stop the rook trade if my opponent wants to force it. Goes with a bishop. Well, I've got to be careful here. Come all the way back because of bishop down. And maybe knight back might be forced as well. well I could have gone forward actually, couldn't I? Why did I not see that? No idea how I didn't see that. So do I give an exchange up? No. Let's come up. I don't think he'll take here, but he could. C5 could be annoying, but it does give me D5 for my knight. So he did take, grabs the pawn, but now can I not get forward? I'm just going to go forward here. At least I don't have to trade the rook now. Goes back. There is a pawn loose, so let's drop back. Here I just take, otherwise we hit the pawn. Okay, hits my knight. So let's drop back. Knight check just king up looks fine. Doesn't mean it is, but it looks it. Hmm. Trade, trade. It looks okay, doesn't it? But yeah, I'm going to trade. Pop this onto a light square and step up. Should I just pop them all on light squares if I can? Actually, can I push here? I don't think I can. Hmm. Let's see if we get our king out. Try and come in. Oh, that's on a light square now. Let's come round then and try and come in. That's on a dark square as well, of course. Hmm. Ah, here he's got the king back. Come here. I'm trying to stop this. I guess he's got this as well. As soon as I go here, he's got this. And I mean, I can get back out. I'm not trapped, but he gets back and he has got the extra pawn on this side. If I could swap them two, that's fine. I just don't want to lose my pawn when my pawn keeps their outside pawn. That would be a disaster. King comes up, so he thinks he can get in, so here, down, here, down, back, push. I have to go for it, don't I? I've got to try and take. So I'm going to try and come up here. If I can just get a pawn... And sack my bishop and pawn for two there. Let's go up. Hmm. He's done very well. There's no way through now. Here he takes, but check. Let's come across. 
Actually, I can't do it, can I? I can't stop that. Yeah. Feels a bit off that game as well. Right, 1883. Good luck. Oh, we have actually played before. Oh, opponent's going berserk with a big red cap. Could go berserk every game, but... <coughs> Why is he not making a move? What's the point of going berserk there? That's just somebody being stupid for the sake of it. That's somebody being really silly for the sake of it. Hmm. That's a poison pawn if he bothers to guard it, which he does. A threatening bishop up here. Um, just throw a check in. Okay, I'm going to take and drop back. Actually, let's come all the way back. Hmm. I'm a bit sceptical of this again, just because of the way my opponent's chosen to start the game. Take here and f4 is going to come. f4 is going to come in any event. Hmm. I'll take the challenge on, why not? Why not? I'm going to go queen side. I'm going to go f6. Hmm. I can grab a pawn, can't I? What's he got? Knight up. If I could trade the queens, it would be a nice pawn. But knight up, back. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab the pawn and try and trade the queen. Just come back. I'm very sceptical of this account, just purely because of the way he started the game. No other reason. Now, how do I get active here? Takes, I'll take with a king, but that pawn's a problem. Um, I'm looking at rook up. Let's play rook up so we can come across and take if he takes. Okay, let's play across. Knight check, I think I step up. He's gone that way, expected. So let's play up. Bit of a problem. Pawn up, it does weaken my pawn, doesn't it? But there is a loose pawn here. So he's letting us take here as well. Does he want to sacrifice? Take, rook takes, blocks should be good. So why can't I just take the pawn? I might be missing some sort of angles here, but I think I can take it. Can't bring my rook across very easily though, but Knight up might be a move, even though it breaks the structure up on it this way. Might be, but takes, takes, as long as I can block, it's playable, I think. I can just play pawn up, right? See where this knight's going to land up. Takes, takes. Knight takes a block, he can jump with a check. So we take doubles the rooks up, he goes back. So let's hit the knight again, because he can't step forward, and we can now double the rooks up. Again, he still can't easily jump forward. We're threatening back rank, mate. Okay, so we can get a rook off the board, so that should be very good. So here and trap the rook should just win on the spot. We hit the pawn as a distraction, but we're trying to trap the rook and force it off. So that should be winning. Okay, do I need to defend this? Up, takes, no, I just get a new queen. Pawn's covered. Yeah, why is he playing on? That's a little bit odd, isn't it? A little bit odd. Okay, we get the win. At 1477, good luck. Oh, that, he's very high up in the standards, actually, for... 1400 rating. I'll soon know straight away if he is 1400 level. Not many games in any time control for a one year old account, but I'll know fairly quickly what play strength he's playing to. C4. That's an invitation to switch to a Sicilian, but I'll do in English. Hmm. 
Okay, okay, let's stick to that ready principle with bishop on g2. We might launch in the center, just go for a bit of variety. We could still do b3. We could even consider a silly gambit with b4, depending on how the rest of the pieces pan out. Um, actually, I'm going to play an early d4 here. I'm just holding off castling for one, maybe two moves, just to see if he flies down the board. Okay, now he's castled, I'll castle as well. And I've got to decide where the bishop's going so that I can do something with this pawn. I quite like this structure myself with the bishops on the diagonal. So that gives me natural move to guard. He can push though. It does give me knight across though, doesn't it? Yeah, I can play either knight across if he pushes. And then maybe take back. So down this knight over, then we threaten to take and we still cover the squares. Depending on where the queen lands up. Okay, that might allow us to play knight over anyway. Take knight over, hit the two pawns. So I'm going to do that. See if he gives up a light squared bishop. But if the queen wanders off, we can grab a pawn, right? Ooh, that blunders bishop takes. But... If we end up getting the rook, lose our bishop, and he keeps his bishop, it could actually turn out to be a blunder. I've done that before. So here, knight down, take, queen takes, and it could actually turn out really bad. I'll just grab the pawn for now, but I'm not sure I want to take the rook. I might take this pawn instead. But knight down, and I can't retreat my bishop, so it could actually be a blunder, this. It could be. Oh, he's trading the bishop. He's trading the bishop. Hmm. It seems bonkers, but I think it's actually better to take the um take the bishop there than taking the rook, just because I'd be giving up my light squared bishop with the fee and keto position. Very dangerous to do. So let's just drop back, see if we encourage some pawn pushes. Weaken the d5 square, potentially. Maybe we go up for a crazy sacrifice, I'm not sure. But right now, three attack and two defense, so there is a hit to the pawn. But yeah, I've blundered that before where I've won a rook like that and then ended up... Ended up... Oh, he's just done a one-move blunder. Unlucky there, unlucky. It might be my last game, this. It might be the last game if there's not enough time left. 1983, good luck. Okay, opponent's 2200 in rapid chess. Let's go c4 and d4. Takes. I'll just develop here. And I don't want to do this. Hmm. Let's just go up one. Slowly and steadily does it. Okay, I'm going to drop back and get out the way of the pawn push and put the knight, uh, the bishop on f3 where the knight is. Just charge that diagonal immediately. Let's just take and hit the rook, threaten knight across. So knight across is a move. Tread, tread. Oh, I've got this knight across. Hmm. I'm going to hit the bishop first and see if he gives up the bishop for the knight. Oh, he does. So we want to try and push c4 if we can. And then figure out what we're going to do with this bishop. Knight down now would be a nice mistake. That won't happen. As long as my knight can run somewhere. Okay, that kind of pushes me into here, doesn't it? But knight up, trade, trade. Takes, takes. But you can just develop the... Ah, if you do also rook, we hit the pawn, though. He could force a queen trade, but... I can do this with an ID to pin the knight and knight back, but he's got another knight there. So I'm just going to go on this diagonal. I'm giving him c4 though, aren't I? That might be a mistake. That's what he's done. So I might have to come straight back. But up. Let's push the pawn because we threatened to capture. But I might be better off trying to trade a knight here, but it's on a decent square for now. We hit a pawn. We can double up, but he's... Yeah, he's got an attack. Now I can go up and hit the rook. I don't think I've got anything better, am I? Imagine 
I hit the rook and hit the pawn. Can I guard everything? I hit the rook, I hit the pawn. Rook comes across, but I can still take, right? So take, take, take. Queen down. Maybe just a simple queen back. I think I can take there, so I'm going to do it. Might prove to be a mistake. Queen down, he's got queen and back up. Queen staying here. Yeah, that's where he's gone, but queen down, queen up could be a problem. Ah, I've got bishop up mine hitting the rook. But I'll lose the pawn. But it's active though, isn't it? Let's hit the rook because we're threatening queen up potentially. Lose a knight, gain a rook in the current position. I can put my knight back in e5, give up a pawn, threaten queen a8, depending on what he does. But it could be good. He might be in time to take and guard everything. Let's just see. Rook across. So bishop over, but I've got the immediate queen up. Doesn't quite work. I've got knight across. Doesn't quite work. So knight down or queen up. Ah, queen up now, and he doesn't actually have takes. But then he can easily drop the rook back, right? But it feels like a nice move to me. He might have to drop back or drop back. Can't take the knight. So we'll shift it next move. We're going to drop a pawn, but we're getting some sort of activity. Might be bad activity, of course, but if he takes rook across as a threat, if he plays knight over to guard, so what about knight across? Or oh, knight forward is a move, actually, because he can't play knight takes. Or maybe he can. No, I don't think he can. Knight takes, I take this knight. Rook blocks, I take here. And we're threatening to simply take, rook takes. He's still kind of guarding, but holding on. Let's just see, it's complicated. It's easy to miscalculate in any chess position. But the knight cuts the defense of the knight from the queen and hits the other knight. But I can't release my rook on f1 without playing h3, maybe. Yeah, that's what my opponent's done there. So take, he'll play rook takes. But then what's wrong with, say, bishop here? He's got rook back. Takes, rook takes. Okay, let's do the same thing. So I'm trying to release my rook. But now I'm threatening to take. Maybe he can just simply move his king here. I might have been a move too slow here. Hmm. Yeah have to take now but at least I've got a check drive him back that might actually triangulate with the rook might allow me to get developed I don't think he's in time to realistically take the pawn but he might be he might be can I just drop back and guard can I drop back and hit this one rook over takes ah I can come here and um hit the pawn and hit the rook he doesn't have knight either way what oh i've done that again i've done that twice i just didn't see it 2008 good luck another one he's 2200 in rapid there um let's play sicilian instead of the carol Here comes forward logical. Let's just play knight up and takes. Let's check knight up, queen up. Um, let's play knight up, hit the pawn. I'm not a Sicilian player, just for a little bit of occasional variety. I think d5 is a move. I think queen up is a move. 
swinging up and if he comes down I'm just gonna go d5 and go in I think let's go forward <coughs> very dangerous allowing this like I say I'm not a Sicilian player I'm just playing it for that little bit of occasional variety Can he just cast Leo and completely ignore it and sack the pawn and blow the position wide open? I think that's what he's looking at. Yeah, he doesn't do it, but I think that's what he's looking at. So let's get rid of the bishop. I think I'm going to push the pawn up here just so I don't allow the Greek gift in one move. So let's queen up a move here to attack. He can't move his knight right. Let's play queen up and hit the pawn. Oh, actually, no, I can't take. Take, 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 blunders, check. Let's just take the knight then, and maybe knight across. Yeah, let's play bishop up back, knight across, that sort of concept. I need to castle, of course. I've got to get castled. Mm. So he's allowing knight across. I'm going to play it while I can. Just try and come in, create basic threats. Depends what he does. Stay on a dark square to keep the knight guarded. So drop back, threaten knight across still. Maybe I can just safely castle now, but again, it's not beyond the realms of possibility to launch one. Let's just hit the queen and see where he goes, hit the pawn. Oh, hold on, I can't take back. I'm blundering here. Well, I'm committed now, I'll just do it. So I'm just committed anyway now. Bishop up and castle. I should have already castled. I'm just a bit concerned about these sacrifices. Okay. I'm going to castle. If he takes, I'll go with the pawn and try and put the bishop on d5. But if he takes, he activates my bishop potentially. Or does he want to get the bishop where the rook is and queen in front of the bishop? That might be what he's looking at. He might allow a knight jump in deliberately to get rid of my knight. Hmm. Take, 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 rook down. Bishop up's no good, is it? Let's put the bishop on this diagonal if we can. If we can. Bishop up, queen takes. Okay. Bishop up now queen across this way maybe i don't think this sacrifice works but it might do knight takes takes queen takes and i can't actually guard the queen here here check i can't block here that's the problem isn't it I think I've messed up completely here, but maybe I've got Bishop up actually. Yeah, we hit the Rook and we can drop back if he sacks. We can use the Bishop as a big giant pawn if he sacks his Knight. But I don't want to take the Rook in this position. I think that's too dangerous. <clears throat> He's also got Knight check ideas. Hmm. let's come up and hit the pawn and let him drive us back okay I'd be really happy if I could trade there <clears throat> apologies if I'm still a bit croaky but we're getting to the end of our allergy season now but I feel all right just a bit croaky in fact I'm a lot croaky aren't I <clears throat> yeah I don't want the bishop getting stuck behind there Oh, he's allowing the trade though. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's come across, hit the rook, hit the pawn and try and get active. No idea how. Pawn up a bit slow. I've definitely blundered this, haven't I? So do I sack a pawn? I'm going to sack a pawn there to try and get active because I feel like I've blundered this.
Now, do I take the... <clears throat> I've got check and collect, haven't I? So I think I take... But I'm still getting my pieces a little bit offside. Yeah, so he's aiming to take, so let's sidestep. Now, can I just run a pawn before my opponent does? Queen d5 feels very nice, but I don't see how I actually push forward. I guess it holds and maybe rook across. Yeah, I might have to go defensive here. I don't want to push a pawn. So I'm going to guard and I'm going to try and run my pawn, I think. There's four minutes of the arena left. The game has to finish before the time lapses or it doesn't count. It does still play on for your rating, but it doesn't count for the arena. <clears throat> yeah, apologies if I'm getting a bit croaky again. I feel all right. I'm just a bit croaky. <clears throat> Can I drop back here? I don't think so. I think I need to push. Let's get movement pushing forward. Oh, he's going a bit more defensive now. Okay, let's just push again then and try and get behind. Again. Okay, he's defending with a queen and I can defend the pawn with a rook, I hope. Bring the king back and try and get my queen active. I don't actually see how I get in. Our queen up and across. I think just go for the simple. But he doesn't have to take, but we do hit the pawn, right? If he takes, it's game over. He can't take. So he's got to guard his pawn. So he's seen it. So king across. So how do I wangle it? I can release my rook, because if he takes, I've got the connected pawn. So can I go here down? I'm going to try and play f6. I think I can, because if he pushes, I've covered it. I can just take. Okay, so he's come forward. Take, 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 take. It should be good for me, this, but I'm going to gamble and open it right up. So queen back, queen takes with a check. That's a problem. Hmm, that is a problem, isn't it? Here, down, up. Come here, down, I'll push up. Okay, well, now I can come back. Let's come all the way back. We're trying to check, but guard our pawn. I know this is loose. If he takes a check... Where he's blundered. He has got connected pawns though. I threaten to come behind and push. Now I can check. Now am I in time or is it a draw? He doesn't take the rook here I don't think. But I've got rook across if he doesn't. He can't take here. Oh he does. Um... Now it wins the game. Man. Tough game, but we did it in time. A minute left. Very, very good. So that finishes our event.